watching today, I feel seen and not in a good way. I am being called out for some of my American bad habits. I'm Cassidy, thanks for tuning in with Cross Culture. We have a fun video today um, comparing Indian lifestyle with American lifestyle. And if you look down in the comments, there are several places um, we'll be comparing with clothes, food, eating style, sustainability versus convenience, ways of living, areas of innovation, proactive versus reactive approach, and what is the solution. Now, I don't do all of these things, but I pretty much do all of them. <laughs> so chime in in the comments below. I feel like, I feel like if you live in India, you have to do at least some of these things, right? I don't know. Chime in. Let's start a dialogue. I want to see. And if you're watching and you live in America, let me know if you're considered the typical American or if there's an exception to you as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. And at the end, I'll tell you kind of my overall summary um, of how I think I can do better. <laughs> India and the United States of America are two countries which are progressive in their own way. USA of course is a superpower and India in the recent past has imbibed a lot from the western ways of living. However, in this video I am going to compare the modern American ways of living with our ancient Indian style of living in seven major categories. I will also share with you my personal take on the matter so that we can get the best of both the worlds. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Starting with number 7 on the list are clothes. In India, it was always counseled to dress in natural fibers that breathe. Specific clothes were even described for specific seasons. Cotton in summers, wool in winters, silk in rainy season and so on. Even the ornaments worn by women were not just for physical appeal but had a health aspect to it. Gold was known to boost immunity, silver to cool wow. inflammation, copper is antiseptic and so on. Basically, there was a whole science of dressing for optimum physical and mental well-being referred to as Ayurvastra in our yogic scriptures. However, the American style of clothing is mostly focused on convenience and comfort, yep. <laughs> which is why they prefer synthetic fibers which do not wrinkle easily, are more Guilty. durable and are easy to manufacture. Then there is the climatic aspect to it as well. The tight clothing like suits, ties and shoes does help them beat off the extreme chilling climate in the West. Absolutely. Indians in hot tropical climate were better off in loose clothes and mm. chappals. Next on the list is food. For an average American, nearly two-thirds of his daily calories come from ultra-processed food, according yes. to a study done at the University <laughs> of San Diego. This is because Americans focused on convenience and productivity. Very Indians, true. on the other hand, have always preferred cooking mm. their meals from scratch. I love that. The endless variety of Indian cuisine is an evidence of it. Even the harder tasks of procuring and hand-pounding the spices at home, preparing ghee at home were not uncommon. Indians have always considered mm. kitchens to be no less than a working dispensary where different yep. herbs and spices were carefully used not just to satisfy the palate but to ignite the digestive fires as suggested in the Ayurvedic scriptures. Another major difference lies in the food choices. American food is largely meat based. In the US, the meat consumption is at a staggering 90 to 125 kg per person per year a majority of which comes from red meats like pork and beef. On the other hand, Indian society used to be majorly vegetarian. Ancient Indian principles of food suggested that man being the most conscious animal on earth should eat food which involves least amount of violence. Okay. Eating vegetarian may seem as a backward practice at first, but in the recent past due to the spread of so many animal origin viruses, it actually seems a far-sighted thought. Yeah. Now let us talk about the eating styles. There is a stark difference in the eating habits of ancient Indians and modern Americans. Driven by comfort and time-saving practices, Americans prefer eating sitting on a dining table. Yes. Whereas driven by health and spiritual goals, Indians would prefer eating on the floor sitting cross-legged. I've never done this that. This asana is called Sukhasana which is considered ideal to digest food. Americans find eating with hands to be gross. They use True. sophisticated cutlery. Indians on the other hand understood that the fingertips literally charge the food particles which makes it get digested and assimilated better. Indians never done also that practiced either. eating on banana 
banana leaf and plates made of sal leaves which are not only eco-friendly but also offer numerous health benefits. Hmm. Americans did not mind eating in disposable plastic plates. Guilty. Next is sustainability versus convenience. There are many distinct habits of modern Americans and ancient Indians that suggest that modern Americans are more inclined towards convenience while Indians believe in sustainable living. One is the preference of toilet papers by Americans to clean the bum after defecation instead of using water. Washing rather than wiping is not only more hygienic and healthy but also helps the environment in a huge way. But wait a minute, isn't water also a scarce resource for us? Of course it is but the disturbing fact is that just one toilet paper uses a whopping 140 liters of water to get manufactured. Wow. After washing hands an American would look for a tissue paper while an Indian would use a cotton This cloth. is also Americans true. Americans clean their teeth using plastic toothbrushes and chemical based yes. toothpastes whereas Indians always preferred the eco-friendly and non-toxic quicks. Do you? For cleaning the tongue, Indians preferred the antimicrobial copper based tongue cleaners rather than the convenient non-biodegradable plastic ones. Then Americans prefer the convenient aluminium foils to wrap their foods ignoring the repercussions of it. While Indians always felt muslin cloths are a healthier choice as unlike aluminium they do not leach any chemicals into the food. Indians mm. would prefer cool water from a matka rather than a refrigerator. It is not a coincidence that, that you are less likely to catch sore throat when you drink optimally cool water from a biodegradable mud pot. Now let's differentiate the general ways of living. Mm. An American would shake hands when greeting while an Indian would yep. fold hands in a namaskar mudra. This is one thing that the world has now started to appreciate. I need the to learn that. The meaning of namaste is namaha. That is, I bow down to the divine soul within you. Not namaste. only it enhances the feeling of gratitude but is also more hygienic. Unlike Americans, Thank Indians you. would always remove the shoes outside the house before I do this it. too. It's another intelligent way <laughs> to keep the germs at bay and even saves your time and effort in cleaning the house. The way Indian and Western style toilets were designed is surprisingly a good way to understand the philosophies to the way of life of both these nations. While in Indian style there is no contact of the buttocks or thighs to a seat that could be unhygienic. That's then smart. it's a proven fact today that the closer we are to squatting, the more easily we empty the bowels. While mm. the Indian style toilet is more convenient for your intestine, western style is more comfortable to sit at which led to its fast adoption. Next one on the list is areas of innovation. There is no doubt about the fact that America has produced some of the most innovative products in the last century. Yeah. America is the hub of new products and is a heart of innovation across the globe. Be it milestone achievements in communication, transport, electricity or daily consumer products. The American innovation has been driven to boost efficiency, productivity, comfort and materialism which in turn uplifts the economy. On That's the other true. hand, Indian innovation was mostly focused on spiritual growth without compromising on environment or personal It's amazing. Health. It might seem a hard fact to digest now but Indian innovation has been par excellence when it comes to architecture of temples, yes. be it the Kailasha temple of Ellora or the Hampi temple whose tones sound like musical instruments, the unbelievable style of cooking food or the smartly built forts by the kings or the wow. mysterious 1600 year old iron pillar of Delhi which has not rusted yet. You're these gorgeous. are few among the many riddles which scientists are still trying to figure out. Finally, let's talk yeah. about the proactive versus reactive approach. There are many ways one can conclude that Indians were proactive whereas Americans have been reactive in approaching health and well-being. For example, India has always propagated the use of clay pots for cooking which contains the maximum nutrition of food, has no side effects and is also biodegradable. On the other hand, most mm -hmm. Americans use the convenient non-stick cookware which surely would not make their omelette stick I but the that. toxic fumes of the coating of utensils uh. would definitely harm them in the long run. According Don't to the school of thought, food is merely a combination of nutrients. This has led to the extensive use of synthetic multivitamin pills in the West. Indians on the other Did hand had you? more natural ways integrated in their lifestyle which provided them with the necessary micronutrients. Cooking in mm. cast iron pots kept their iron levels in check. Tin coating inside wow. the brass cooking utensils was a way by which Indians would get their daily doses of zinc. 
drinking water from copper vessels kept their copper levels to optimum wow. and of course indians pressed on eating local fruits and vegetables because they knew that their bodies would assimilate the micronutrients yes. from them much better americans today are trying to battle with their sleep issues depression and stress through synthetic pills yes. for indians yoga was a way of life which would align their inner energies with the nature so that stress anxiety depression mm-hmm. and insomnia were not more a concern even in money matters Ameri- Americans do not focus much on savings. Indians on the other hand That's spend true. less and save more for the future. So we can see that American ways of living are short term comfort oriented with some having yeah. major trade offs in health and well being. And ancient Indian ways of living were driven by long term spiritual goals without any compromise on environment or health. Although it will be a hard pill for us to swallow that many of the ancient Indian practices mentioned in this video mm-hmm. may not fit in our urban lifestyle. Honestly, how many of us can use cow dung cakes for daily cooking? Not Never heard of that. We use cancer causing non-stick pans that best gift it to us. So what is the solution? Like all Indian practices are not impractical, not all American ways of living are bad for health. We can try to pick the best of both the worlds so that the whole yes. package is somewhat practical with least compromise on health. Like Like for all the packaged products we buy, we can at least make sure that they use safe and natural ingredients. Yep. Switching to Twix instead of commercial toothpaste <laughs> may not be a pragmatic <laughs> option for many, but least we can do is start using uh. the safer ones. Including seasonal and local fruits and vegetables in our diet is fairly a practical thing to do. Likewise, it may be hard for you to eat all your meals with hands sitting that. down on the floor, but the least we can do is to eat every meal consciously with a feeling of gratitude. In case of of cookware we can easily replace aluminum and plastic stuff with our good old metals and clay pots similarly it may not be feasible for us to do yoga for 2 hours but at least we can do is start doing it for 15 minutes 15 we can minutes? then tackle our modern day hurdles with smile and calmness Importantly we should not look at our practices from the eyes of the west. Many practices may seem backward at once but were actually far sighted. Indian so. culture is extremely rich in its own way and we should be proud of it. I want yeah. to thank Grow for partnering with us for this video. We Indians have always been smart with savings. What What did you guys think? I actually thought that was a great comparison. I don't do all of those American things. Maybe I'm a little biased, but um, I like to think that my family tries really hard. We shop local, we support local farms. Uh, we have really well balanced meals. We rarely eat fast food, but I will say, I do know that the average American has a really junky food diet and that is something we are notorious for and it's embarrassing, but I can't deny it. So um, there's definitely that. The clothes that he touched on, um, yeah, we use a lot of synthetic materials and I kind of want to get into using the silver and the copper and just having more breathable materials. I feel like it's so much healthier for your skin in general. The Indian way of lifestyle um, just focuses on your well-being as a whole, your mental, spiritual, and physical well-being. And that is not something that our American culture takes into account. It's much more um, convenience-driven. Can I get it instantly, fast, now? Um, that's why fast food is so popular. I have never eaten a meal on the floor, and I really only use my hands if it's something like, you know, eating a hamburger or um, maybe a piece of fruit. That's not something that I do with everyday meals, but I really want to try now. The ideas behind it for digestion, it just makes sense and it seems um, just to put your body at peace and balance. And I love that concept of just um, not using the plastic plates, the disposable, the waste. That's something I hadn't really thought about. I had thought more about convenience sake, especially when we have large parties and we're feeding um, big groups of people, which hasn't happened as much during COVID, uh, but I'm tempted to pull out the paper plates. They're just easier. I wish we had things like giant banana leaves. That looks so cool. Um, but maybe I can find a good alternative, something that we can uh, wash and reuse as opposed to something that we would trash. The toothbrush thing, um, 
Let me first say, I have never had a tongue scraper. I've not, actually never even seen that. I do brush my tongue. <laughs> I brush my tongue with my toothbrush, so I'm not totally unhygienic. Uh, but do you use a tongue scraper? Is that a thing? And I've just uh, never heard of it. I've been living under a rock. I definitely wanna check that out. And the concept of having copper, um, that's really, really neat. I'll need to look into that. Um, something else that's kind of convicted me, the toilet thing. I've only ever uh, had a Western toilet. <laughs> so that's something else that will be new for me to try out. Um, definitely guilty of using toilet paper. I don't know if you heard, but here in the US, we had a toilet paper crisis during COVID and we ran out. So um, a lot of my friends and families actually went out and got bidets and it's kind of becoming a thing. So maybe it'll stick. Maybe I should give it a try. We'll see. Um, something good that actually came out of uh, a COVID pandemic this year. Uh, I have never had a clay pot either and I love the look of it but I love again the idea behind um, just the the nutrition and the sustainability so another thing that I'll have to look into and yoga is something that I already try to do I already love um, I live this very busy rush 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 lifestyle and he's right I can't really commit to two hours a day but 15 minutes a day is definitely something I could do. Comment below if you do yoga, how many minutes, how many times a day, is there a flow that you love? Um, I would love to hear all about it so we can connect. And yeah, other than trying to add more yoga, getting a clay pot, and trying to organize my life so it's a little more about reaching mental, physical, and spiritual wellness instead of rushing around for instant satisfaction um, instant gratification or satisfaction. I'm going to try, uh, just to do things with the Indian method. I definitely feel convicted. So be sure to like and comment, um, on this video, share, subscribe. We love to connect and hear from you guys. I, um, can't wait to see what you have to say. And I look forward to talking next time. See ya.